And what the fuck is going on over at Twitter too? Have y'all tried to use Twitter lately? Uh, I haven't been on as active as I usually am, but mm-hmm. uh, I was on today. I didn't see yeah. any issue. Like you, uh, like, maybe you maybe some like tweet maybe. responses or something are being cut off or a certain yeah. number. Yeah, so. so like, I, like it's just, it's just crazy. Like just the whole app, the interface. I'm, I just open it up. Like, like the all the buttons at the bottom has changed. Like they got spaces in a different space. They got this new thing called communities. It's just like it, right now, it's just like too uh, convoluted. Like you know. You know what I mean? It's like entirely too. Like I haven't been intrigued by this app in a while. Ever since Elon took over, like it seemed like it's about to die. Like like a lot of the users are upset. You know, they was already upset about the blue check mark paywall and all that type of stuff. But now it's like super convoluted. It like it's real hard to use and like even understand and navigate right now. Um, yeah. Like uh, like also like when you when you share your. Um, when you share your, uh, your your Twitter links like in the text feed, that they don't give you the preview no more. Now you just get a link. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's, it's it's something going on over there, man. It, it seems like Twitter might be on this last leg. Kendra, you in the tech space? I just want to know if you had any thoughts about it because this is. This- well, I mean, me personally, I mean, I, you know, I, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's Elon Musk. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't I don't think you know. It's just like you know, there's no there was no reason for him to really buy it. You know, like mm-hmm. I just you know that's not really his area to me mm-hmm. so i just didn't really understand the pers- reason to purchase it i understand another, another, another example of rich people doing shit <laughs> too much reason. money <laughs> that, that's absolutely a fact and you know and just whatever righteous thought process that he had behind it like i'm gonna make it more you know i'm gonna make it more truthful or yeah, whatever really, he was really trying to go with free speech there, there are some things i like about it like when people post like articles and like at the bottom they'll have like the level of validity behind it mm-hmm. like They'll have other articles behind it or so i do like that you know what i'm saying so it helps people understand you know to, or be able to differentiate a little bit better but other than that you know I, I he's not an expert with social media so i just didn't understand the point of trying to be the ceo of that or at least and i'm not saying he hasn't i don't know the i don't know the, the what the what the full um you know hierarchy looks like in terms of employment for twitter right now but I would hope that you would get more people that are leaning towards being experts with this type of stuff so that they understand, have a better understanding than yourself so that you don't, you know, fuck up, you know, for lack of a better word, fuck up Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see Twitter going nowhere no time soon, even if people are disappointed with it because it's not no, really no competitor for Twitter. That, like that's people get their shit off on Twitter. Where else, where else you don't no, for sure. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitter seems like that, but I, I was just going with the the general consensus that a lot of people was just like this shit is ass. And I mean, it was the same thing with Instagram. Like you know, Instagram been way past its heyday. It's hard to get you know when you start a new account, it's hard to really get a lot of followers. Like in the heyday, you can open up, you can shit three thousand followers on on Instagram in this heyday. But not like I said, the same thing got too convoluted. They made a lot of changes, cha- got rid of the video features, got rid of IGTV, changed. I don't know if y'all remember that, but they they got rid of IGTV, changed everything to Reels. Um, ever since ever since facebook took over instagram it hadn't been the same either so like mm-hmm. i said I, I like like to me that's why i said it feels like twitter's on its last leg hopefully not because i love the app um but i like i said i just haven't even been wanting to use it in the last month or so since uh elon has took, taken over and i even had the blue check because i'm i was i was one of the people like let's keep this shit around he made a bad investment let's try to save it i got the five dollars a month but like no nah, i'm straight <laughs> like i'm like no nah, get rid of that blue check I, I, y'all can cash that shit <laughs> Yeah, I mean, outside. he's, he's make. I think he's more so trying to make it more of a, like a pay, a pay as you go type of app, or you know, that's what I think ESPN is going to be switching over to pretty soon with all the firings and stuff that's going on with their, with their, because you know, cable is changing. People ain't, people don't have cable anymore like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, older people do, but younger people like they have TV subscriptions. Mm-hmm. So it's just the landscape is changing, and you know, same thing with Twitter. Like you know, I, I think he's. It's gonna change significantly. Hopefully, it still still stays around because Twitter then took quite a few hits and mm-hmm. still managed to be here. So yeah, we'll see. Right yeah, well, yeah. Hopefully so. But speaking, I think, of- the, I think the users will keep Twitter around despite Elon tearing it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's a strong, it's a strong. Uh, but you see, people getting frustrated though with this, uh, with this latest thing. Oh yeah, for sure. With the with the with sure. the. Uh, responses and being and being deleted or cut i don't know i don't know the severity I, I i like i said i didn't look into it like that but i know there i did see it today like some some people commenting about that and saying and specifically said i don't know what he's doing but i'll just leave the app <laughs> <laughs> yeah so. It's a good time. This is a good time for any entrepreneurs out there to start a, a social media platform. We've been, we've been asking for a black one for a while, 
Um, speaking Sorry. of black women, what happened with uh, um? <laughs> You still got fan base. Fan base. That's the one I was talking about. Uh, Isaac Hayes' son. Uh, You're still there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I haven't been on in a while. You been? Have you been active on fan base? I, I check every couple. You know, the traffic is just, just isn't the same. It's just a little slower. But uh, mm-hmm. but no, I still I still what's, log what's, on. What's, 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 what's my guy platform? The uh, true social. With... Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm I, say that again, Blaze. You broke up real bad. Trump. Oh, he's talking about Trump. Trump. He's talking about Trump. Yeah, true, 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 true,